Hello and welcome to Sat TV Week, the news programme for the global satellite industry. In this week's programme, Trisha has the launch news and Eleanor looks at the introduction of BGAN Converge. But first, SES has announced that its German HD platform, HD Plus, now exceeds 1 million paying households. For the full year of 2012, HD Plus more than doubled the number of paying customers, from just over 404,000 to just under 945,000. HD Plus expects a growth rate of 25% for paying customers in 2013. As of December 31st, 2012, HD Plus reached a total of 2.87 million households that either pay for the technical service or are in the free HD Plus test phase. This represents an increase of 570,000 households compared to the previous year. The number of households in the free trial period increased to 1.92 million at the end of 2012. Polisat has received multiple orders from General Administration of Civil Aviation of China for the equipment supply and technical services for additional VSAT Plus 2 satellite communications equipment. The equipment will expand the existing network to over 350 sites, occupying a complete 54 MHz transponder over 20 carriers. This VSAT Plus 2 network connects the Air Traffic Management Bureau headquarters offices and regional centres in a full mesh network. All sites will support a complex mix of voice and data communications. ITC Global will upgrade its mining sector satellite network to iDirect's soon-to-be-released IDX 3.2 software featuring adaptive TDMA and will deploy the next-generation Evolution X7 remote. ITC Global is a leading provider of global enterprise-class satellite communications to premier mining companies around the world and will be the first service provider to offer IDX 3.2 and X7 capabilities to the mining sector. The upgrade advances ITC Global's commitment to continual network innovation and will allow ITC Global to satisfy the 20 plus megabits per second bandwidth requirement the mining sector now demands. Faster data throughput will improve the network's ability to handle multiple IP applications on a unified platform such as voice over IP, radio over IP, CCTV, remote permission and control and the automation of critical operational tasks. These communication services enable mining companies to increase business productivity, ensure compliance with health, safety and environmental initiatives and commitments, achieve the timely delivery of projects and shorten overall time to market while maximising continuity of supply to end customers. Now here is Tricia with the launch news. The first of NASA's three next-generation tracking and data relay satellites, known as TDRSK, has been launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. According to Badri Yunis, Deputy Associate Administrator for Space Communications and Navigation at NASA headquarters in Washington, TDRSK bolsters our network of satellites that provides essential communications to support space exploration. It will improve the overall health and longevity of our system. The TDRS system provides tracking, telemetry, command and high bandwidth data return services for numerous sites and human exploration missions, missions orbiting Earth. These include the International Space Station and NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. TDRSK was lifted into orbit aboard a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41. After a three-month test phase, NASA will accept the spacecraft for additional evaluation before putting the satellite into service. The 
French Indian Sorel Altica Altimetry mission is scheduled to launch 25th of February from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre in southern India. Its goal is to enable closer monitoring of sea surface height from space. Satellite radar altimetry is a technique used in oceanography to measure global sea surface height, a key parameter for understanding ocean circulations and its variations. For the first time ever, the radar developed by Kernes is set to acquire satellite data operating in Ka band. At this high frequency, the compact instrument is capable of more accurate measurements than its predecessors. The mission's ultimate goal is to improve observation of ice, coastal zones and continental waters. Now here is Eleanor with news of Inmarsat government's introduction of BGAN Converge. Inmarsat government has launched its new service, BGAN Converge. This value-added solution allows government BGAN users to achieve significantly higher data rates through reliable commercial BGAN channel bonding. Government customers continue to require higher throughput solutions as plans to extend communication capabilities further into the field are on the rise. When military personnel involved in active operations need to see the latest imagery from an unmanned aerial vehicle, they need reliable access at high speeds. BGAN Converge supports various fixed and mobile platforms and does not require changing any existing equipment. It offers faster, higher quality interactive video conferencing, video streaming and VoIP services. The BGAN Converge system consists of the software that resides on a router as well as a Converge server located on the Inmarsat Satellite Access Station. The end-to-end -end service is highly portable, minimises jitter and network latency and provides global on-demand streaming capabilities. BGAN Converge also offers a transition path to Inmarsat's new global KA band network, Global Express, deploying in 2013 with full global service expected by the end of 2014. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Thank you.